the book of Gad, the seer. The Great Tribulation. And it came to pass on the first day of the seventh month, at New Year's, in the 478th year after the children of Israel came out of the land of Egypt, in the second year of King Solomon's reign over Israel, I had a vision from the Most High when I was upon the Jihon Spring. And I raised my eyes, and lo, the heavens rolled back like a scroll, and I saw the glory of the Creator sitting on an extremely high throne. And here is the appearance of the throne. Twelve stairs led up to the throne, six of gold and six of silver. And there was a square back to the throne, like a sapphire stone. And at its right side were three chairs, and at its left side were four chairs near the throne, like the seven that see the king's face covered with gold and silver and precious stones. And the glory of the Creator had the appearance like that of the rainbow, his covenant. And the host of heaven were standing before him on his right hand and on his left, and Satan was standing by them, but behind them. So Satan was in the room. He was there, he was, he was present, but he was behind. And then a man dressed in linen brought before the glory of the Creator three books that contained the records of every man. And he read the first book, and it contained the just deeds of his people. And the Creator said, These are granted eternal life. And Satan said, Who are these guilty people? And the man dressed in linen cried to Satan like a ram's horn, saying, Silence! This day is holy unto our Creator. And he read the second book, and it contained the unintentional sins of his people. And the Most High said, Put that book aside, but save it, until one-third of the month passes by, to see what they do. And he read the third book, and it contained the wicked deeds of his people. And the Most High said to Satan, These are your share. Take them and do what you want with them. And Satan took the wicked to a wasteland to destroy them there. And the man dressed in linen cried like a ram's horn, saying, Blessed are the people who know the joyful shout, O Creator, who walk in the light of your countenance. And I heard the voice of the host of heaven rejoicing and saying, Master of justice, the creator of hosts, the whole heaven and earth is full of your glory. And I was shocked by the vision since I did not know what the Most High had done for me. Then one of the cherubs flew up to me and he put an olive leaf on my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched your mouth and your iniquity is taken away and your sin forgiven. And this law that you have seen is a statute for Israel, and a law to the power of Abraham, and peace unto Isaac your father. And the Most High will bless your people in the trial with everlasting peace. And I said, Amen. May the Most High, our Creator, do this for us forever and ever. And the angel answered, Amen. Amen.